Pick. Ja. Pick ja. <laughs> uh, Joe, did you steal my cookies from the cookie jar? Which jar? You know, the cookie jar. Yeah, but which jar? The miniature or the big jar? Fresh, brought to you for the people, by the people. This week, Fresh has a great show lined up for you. Chew! Hey, what's up? It's Lichy. We're out here at Grubby's Hawaii Barbecue and Burgers here in Red Bank, and you're watching Fresh. Keep it fresh. fresh! What is the lesson we've learned here, team? No going live at Polly's funeral and no recording the party. Seki. Did you watch the rugby? Did you watch the rugby? Rim. Rugby. Rugby. <laughs> yes. Should we cut that? <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey guys, my name is Willis Moore. I'm also known as uh, Wallace Moore. Wallace Frost to people who know me from way back. Chef to some, um, daddy to my son, and um, master to most of you. <laughs> <laughs> my typical day would start off with um, running to work, where I would probably be on my feet for about 13, 14 hours. just to make it a bit more fun, run back home, another seven Ks. Running was just a good way of uh, de-stressing. Um, it's a good way of thinking and coming up with ideas and also just keeping the body fit so that you can handle those intense hours. As a youngster, I, I did find myself um, a bit creative and you know, I was into the arts. Chefing was like a good step in between where I had that structure of um, of having a regular job, but then I also have the ability to, to make some art on the plate. And although that art doesn't last forever, it will last for a while in the minds of uh, those who eat it. One of the biggest events of the week were, was Gongai. It was, it was always the, the aunties or my mom that would be cooking. So us guys would always uh, stay out of the kitchen. And um, even when I became a chef, if I try to jump into the kitchen, I would uh, get chased out with the wooden spoon. I, I would only work the weekend, so after my rugby game, I would rush off to, um, to wash dishes for another nine hours. But when I got there, the chefs used to give me jobs. They would give me jobs to cut, and they would teach me stuff. For me, it was just, it was a job. It wasn't something that I was ever thinking I was gonna take it serious. My trip to France kind of changed the whole way I looked at my whole perspective of um, what it is to be a chef. It was definitely seeing them how, how loyal they are to their, their culture of food. In France, it was kind of like, it's our food or it's no way else. This is a, quite an ancient country who have, um, who have worked with their food for a long time, so they've, they've mastered whatever they do. When I think of Mount Roscoe, I would say pride. The reason why I was able to, to live in Marseille so easily is because I found so many similarities between Marseille and its roughness, and Roscoe and its roughness, and, and its realness. Especially in uh, Roscoe Grammar, it opened up a lot of doors for me, um, especially into the arts. All those little competitions and all those um, national competitions, they, they gave me a lot of confidence in, um, leading into my adult life. Like, I'm really good at, like, many different things. Um, I just haven't found the thing that I was really great at. And, you know, I think cooking just happened to come along. It wasn't something that I was thinking about as a youngster, but it happens to come along and it let me apply everything I'd learned through the discipline of sports, through the, um, the artistry of like performing and uh, music. And then um, 
using all those skill sets that you, you, you gather from different areas. My son is Cole, and I don't know, he's like the most beautiful boy in the world to me. Eh? Um, he, I look forward to coming home after work and I look forward to waking up and getting him prepared for school. Uh, the good thing about uh, Cole and with Lily being a friend, she's, she's hard out into eating healthy and she's hard out into home meals. I want to open a place where I can do my style of food, um, but make it uh, approachable and affordable for especially our, our brown community. My, my ultimate goal is to one day have my own place so that myself and my partner can um, work together again and, and, and open our own place for something that, you know, my son can look at in the future and be like, um, be given something or be handed something to help him um, ahead in life. So for Malangi Mama, my name is Ben Mata and I am the owner of Grubby's Burgers and a Hawaiian Barbecue here in Brisbane, Australia. And you're keeping it fresh with our first birthday anniversary here on Fresh TV. Let's go. Hey, what's up? It's Lissy. We're out here at Grubby's Hawaiian Barbecue and Burgers here in Red Bank. And you're watching Fresh. Keep it fresh. fresh. celebration of the community here so very proud to see everyone here today to celebrate. Been here with them day one so just here to support the also and I'm proud of them you know. Oh it's amazing it's one of a kind in Brisbane. Uh, I think it's an awesome milestone for a small Pacific Island owned uh, business. People travel far and wide. This speaks for itself man everyone here just shows the love he has for the community and everyone's showing up plus the food good for the soul. <laughs> This shot, say all of it. The mixed grill, better. My favorite. The uh, the mixed plate, the white grill. Yeah. It's just good. It's good to get uh, some real food in ya. Stay away from the McDonald's, everyone. What a battle, kill ya. Culture, the vibe. It's on. <laughs> I feel like uh, this aura is needed in our community. So I think, I think it's just it's something that's that's been a perfect fit. You know, it's a family setting. You know, anytime you come here, you're more than welcome. You, know, you, you don't get any strangers pull up on you or anything like that. It's, it's a welcoming community. Boy with the best rocks, full pipe, but we kick it on the west side. Or mom's stand. I'm sicky, so uh, you know, we all know each other here in um, the area, so. Um, you know, to see it also not to you know, start up his business and get it off the ground and now it's doing better than what he expected, man, it's, it's happy, you know, one, once, you know, when one wins, we all win, that's how we feel and uh, yeah, we're all supporting him, we're all behind him and we're here every week. We always say a lot of people don't get off the stand, so to see someone chase their dream and manifest this and uh, see how much everyone gets behind it, it's inspiring and I hope it inspires a lot of other people, yeah, shout out to that, right? Yeah, awesome. So now you know where to go for a good feed when you're here in Brisbane. I'm about to go pump this. Keep it fresh. Hey, hey! I, I promise, promise, I'm hope. I'm, I'm almost, almost, almost there. There. I promise I'm almost there. Yeah, okay, we good. Wow, wow. wow. Hello, it's Alofa, Bulovinaka, Malo Lele. Hi, new faces. Welcome, welcome. Susanna, I heard you recently got dragged online. It's Susanna and Io. Io? Io. What happened? 
It was so bad. You know the people in the community? No way, I said, hey, somebody, somebody, hey! They dragged me on the Facebook and the people comment, eh? <sighs> so what is the lesson we've learned here, team? No, no going, going live at and Poly and, and no recording the party. Seki, yeah, it's not about you, sis, yeah? <sighs> James. It's Jizza now. Your boy decided to decolonize and go back to his <laughs> indigenous name. Uh, that is not even indigenous. My lord, Jizza. Jizza in your mouth. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty tough, eh? I said some stuff about polys and ears on Pa Road, and they all came for me online. Ew, Jizza. The only joke around here is him. He's not even wearing his Ula Fala properly. It's all right, babe. You got this. Uh, Mimi! Over to you. Oh, um... Well, hello, new faces. Uh, I'm one of the OGs here at um, PCC. After our first sesh, I deactivated Insta, needed a detox from social media. I recently rejoined to launch my weight loss page for my 75 Heart Challenge. What the hell? <laughs> oh, hey. Did you want to say something? Yeah, Mr. Polly Movement. Over to you. You already know who it is. Dalfa. Top dog, top influencer. New Zealand and Oz. What? <laughs> you gotta have thick skin to do what I gotta do. Splash. Come on closer. <laughs> Let's go. I'm the man. Um, <laughs> you guys already know me. You all follow me. And, uh, yeah. So I don't follow you, because you're not all that. <laughs> um, OK, first of all, stop. At least I don't even need our porn 75 hard to remain relevant or feel good. <laughs> At least I'm not on TikTok begging for money. I could be much. Oh, yeah? What about your dad? I could be your dad. All right, guys, let's just bring it in, OK? You know what? Stuff this. I didn't come here for this. Susanna, can you stop recording me? Susanna, stop it! Susanna, record me! Oh. Am I getting paid for this? Susanna! Record me. Oh, what? Oh, what? This is what I was talking about with Southsiders and Auckland. Whatever, Jazza. Decolonize yourself. Susanna, stop! You stop! You guys are all toxic. You're the one that's toxic. Stop yelling! Everyone, just shut up, OK? Susanna, you don't even have data, so why are you recording? Dolpha, your TikToks are dry, go find a new hobby. Mimi, your challenge isn't working, just work hard like the rest of us, okay? And James, look, read the comments and just run us straight. There, everyone happy? For the love of God, Susanna, can you just stop recording? Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry. Hey, the boomerang. The boomerang over there. Go! Make sure the boomerang don't come back. My gosh. <sighs> yep. Well, that went pretty well. Hopefully our funding doesn't get cut off. Yeah, yeah we can now. Uh, we can stop now. Stop. Stop. Hi. I, I promise. Promise. I'm. Hi. I'm. I'm. Almost. Almost. Almost there. There. I promise I'm almost there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. 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 Enjoy your morning food.
freshness from the Pacific. Hello, for love and malo le. Warm Pacific greetings. Welcome to another episode of How Fresh Are You? I'm Charlie Paul Mayer, your quiz master, which means I'm um, literally your guy's boss. Now let's meet the teams. And to my left, we have the beautiful... Kiris Meletopo and Selva Elofaiva. And we are the... Real Cinderellas! The Real Cinderellas! All right, let's give them a round of applause. All right, let's meet the next team. To my right, we have the beautiful... Eri Hanna Eureka Perfilio. David Zaniello. And we are... The winners! The winners! <laughs> the winners, ladies and gentlemen, come on! Make some noise. First up, it's rapid fire. This is a quick draw round. We have two minutes. We are asked the questions and you give me the answers. You get the questions wrong, guys, the other team gets a crack at it. All right, our first question. What is the deepest point in the Pacific Ocean? The deepest point is the deepest point. Oh, the deepest <laughs> point is the deepest point. You're close yet so far. The equator. The equator. <laughs> hey, that's a little bit better than what she gave me, but... Really? Okay. Let's give it another crack. Give it another crack. What is the deepest point in the Pacific Ocean? The bottom. The bottom. <laughs> <laughs> give her a point. Not quite. The answer that we're looking for is Mariana Trench. Oh, oh yeah. Joe yeah. Anoa'i is the birth name for what famous... <laughs> Question. Okay, man. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Ooh. That's it. No, he's got it. He's got it. Yeah. Team winner. Ooh. I'm ready. Lance Savali is a judge on what New Zealand TV show? Yes. Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. Ooh. I knew it. I was going to say how many times. Hey, see? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stacey Lelua plays the mother of what famous Samoan on an NBC sitcom? Um, the girl off Shaughnessy Street, the Samoan actress. What's her name? That's the answer. See? Hold there. All right, then push the buzzer Sorry. again. Give me something. Tell we She's pretty. Give me something. Atitala? At no, Atitala. wait. You, this is the last chance. Oh, Dwayne. The rock. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. Oh. What? Yes. That was tough, man. That hey. was. Sweaty. Moving along. <laughs> Team. What is the national bird of Samoa? I heard it here first. Team... Parrot. <laughs> okay, team winner. Let's go. Give me something. Eagle. You know what? That's dogger. I'm going to almost give you that point because every Samoan van has an eagle sticker. <laughs> nah. Or a tennis ball, so that's oh, like, almost like... Bro. You know you guys decorate your guys' vans and... Well, what is it? Penguin. Penguin. No, it's oh. not. The Samoan national bird is Manumea, a tooth-filled yeah. pigeon. That's the same yeah. thing as That's what we had is. We, we learn about these things. That's what it's all about. Oh Our last question. Pressure. YouTuber turned boxer. Jake Paul mentioned he wanted to fight... What? Yes, team winner? Sonny Bill. Sonny Bill. That's right. Jake Paul wants to fight Sonny Bill yeah. Williams. OK, now we're on to our next game. This game here is called Read My Lips. So here's how the game goes. So one of you will have noise-cancelling headphones on and the other will be giving words and the person with the noise-cancelling headphones has to try guess what you're saying. You have one minute to complete this. Are you ready? Your time starts now. Did you watch the rugby? Did you watch the rugby? Did you watch the... Rugby. Rim. Rugby. Rugby. <laughs> yes. That's one. Juniors in the shower. Something in the what? Junior. Tuna? Junior. <laughs> Tuna. Junior. Tuna. Junior. Junior yeah. in is the, the shower. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Don't be cheeky to me. Don't be cheeky to me. <laughs> wow. wow. Your mum said no. Your mum said no. Woo! Last one. Ooh. Our grandmas are five. Cousins. Our cousins. Four. Our grandmas are three. cousins. Three. Yeah. Two. Our grandmas are cousins. Yay! The team, the winners really bought the heat. You guys need to step it up. Come on, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> One minute and your time starts now. I. I. Promise. Promise. I'm. Hype. I'm. I'm. Almost. 
almost. Almost there. There. I promise I'm almost there. Yeah, okay, we go. Wow, wow. Bring. Bring. Ba. Ba. Gava. 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 Cloth. Cloth. Bring the gava cloth. Yeah, oh, great. Wow. <laughs> I. I. Sent. The scent. 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 Don't. Scent. 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 Oh, I scent. I scent. 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 I scent. There's. There's. The. There's. This. There's. There's. The. Food. Food at. At. Home. Home. There's food at home. Wow. Wash. Wash the, the dishes. Dishes. Nine. Wash the dishes. Eight. I. I. Seven. Seven. Six. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Seven. Seven. Four. I seven. Seven. Three. I seven. Seven. Two. I five. One. And time. I sit. All righty. Wow, that was a close game, guys. Well, not close, but like this close. <laughs> and the overall winner is. Team the winner! Woo! Congratulations, guys. Woo! But hey, look, we don't go empty handed. We're all winners here, so hey, put this t shirt on on the way out. Thank you very much for coming. Hey, and that's us. We'll see you next time right here on How Fresh Are You? In. It's been great watching Fresh with you. Until next week, I did I. Salo for love of freshies. My name is Abigail Lelo Ayalo, and I'm coming to you from the 274 Home of the Brave, Otala. Let's go. Sorry to hear about your dad. He was just at work and put on his gloves and, and he was gone. Wait, that's not your dad. That's Iron Man. I'm here to help you with your... Uh, Fair hours. Fair hours. Oh, wow. God bless you. Ooh. 